If you're going to build something from nothing, you've got to know what really works. I took a $1,000 loan and built a $5 billion business, and now I make smart investments in new businesses on Shark Tank. This is Barbara Corcoran, and you're listening to Business Unusual. On this episode, I'll tell you why the only business guru who ever mattered to me was, in fact, my mom. But first, what do you do when people stop returning your calls? You reinvent yourself. Here's how I did it. Never think you're too old to reinvent yourself. I spent 25 years building a real estate company in New York City, and then I sold it, and I was lost. What I realized was that leaving your old job is hard. I miss terribly the people I worked with. When I walked into my business, I had everyone saying good morning. I now only had my husband and kids saying good morning. I instantly felt old, thinking that nothing really exciting was ahead of me because the best was behind me. And, of course, I faced my worst insecurities that I'd be a nobody for life. But then one day I realized, no, I didn't sell my golden goose, which is what I was thinking at the time. But instead, I realized all I did was sell one golden egg, and I would lay another. And so here's how I reinvented myself. I decided I was going to find my next perfect career by thinking about what I did well and what I did poorly. I took a piece of paper, I drew a line down the middle, and I wrote on one side everything I liked about every job I ever had, and on the other side, I wrote a long list of what I didn't like. Then I looked at the list and tried to figure out which occupations would utilize the stuff I really loved doing and wouldn't have much of what I didn't like at all. What I realized in looking at my list was that I liked best of all having a platform and getting attention. And so I decided I was going to go either into the TV business or public relations, and that would suit me well. I couldn't get there overnight. I had to reinvent myself in stages. And in doing so, I learned the following hard facts. One, you can't change your wiring, but you can repackage yourself. I learned that my old contacts were useless. I threw out my old Rolodex. I found that people didn't return my calls because I wasn't important enough. I had to learn to get past being insulted. And in the silences, I learned to be patient, something I'd never learned to be before. Eventually, I landed a spot on a new show out there called Shark Tank. Ten years later, I've invested in over 40 new businesses and having the time of my life. It's never too late to reinvent yourself. This is Business Unusual with Barbara Corcoran. I never had a business mentor, but I followed my mother's advice instead. She raised 10 kids in a two-bedroom flat in New Jersey, and she was always working. I learned by example, you've got to really work hard, and I took that into my business career. My mom taught me to always focus on the positive in people and try hard to ignore the negatives. She spotted the positive in each child the day they were born, would announce it to each of the siblings, and make us perform that gift for the rest of the family for the rest of our lives. My brother Ed, she said, was a born leader. My brother T was a born dancer. And of course, I had the wonderful imagination. I've learned to identify gifts when I'm judging entrepreneurs in Shark Tank. I try to see what they do well and then build their business on the back of what they do especially well. I learned that in choosing salespeople for building my brokerage business to identify a great salesperson early and focus on what they did well to make sure their sales increased every year. My mom always said it's easier to be kind, and she was right. She spent most of her time doing small favors and kindnesses for everyone in town who needed a helping hand. For many of the families that just arrived in America and moved to our little factory town, my mother volunteered each of her children to stand in as godparents at our local church. Together, we probably have 40, maybe even 60 godchildren. Who knows? I found that extending small kindnesses in business yielded great returns. It created many loyal associates and friendships that helped me succeed in business. My mom said you need a system for everything if things are going to be done well. She didn't believe in wasting time. She had two sock drawers in the kitchen, the top one navy blue boy socks, all one size, and the bottom all girl socks in white, all one size. 
It made for easy work getting 10 kids out to school in the morning. All you had to do is grab any two socks, remembering if you're a boy or a girl, and they always matched. I created systems in my business that helped me multiply my success again and again. I found that anything I did more than once, I stopped and thought, what's the system here and how can I organize it better? And by creating the systems, I was able to build a big business much faster than my competitors. The key here is, listen to your mom. She's a lot smarter than many of the gurus that claim to know a lot about business. You've been listening to Business Unusual with me, Barbara Corcoran. Come back next week to hear more steps and missteps I took on the path to success on Business Unusual. Got a business question you want to ask me? Tweet it at Barbara Corcoran. I just might answer it on a future episode. Business Unusual is part of the iHeartRadio Podcast Network. Come back next week and be sure to follow Business Unusual on iHeartRadio or subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts.